Hello everyone, I'm going to be replacing my firing pin and extractor with Wilson Combat Parts in my Taurus PT-1911. I was actually qualifying for the handgun carry permit when my extractor broke. It was on round number 39 out of 50. And uh, I had to continue shooting with basically a single shot pistol. It was kind of an embarrassing experience. But uh, hopefully these will be just drop-in parts. So the things that we're going to need, we're going to need a towel here on the floor, of course. Um, we need the extractor and firing pin, but not in that order because there's the extractor and there's the firing pin. I just had a brain fart. Two ballpoint pins, some decent lighting. Hope that'll work. And a container into which to put the small parts. So let's begin with a safety check. No magazine, nothing in the chamber, and I can see all the way through. Great, our chamber is not extract or the barrel is not extracted in any way. You can feel it, not obstructed there, right? And getting dirty begins. So there are two schools of thought as to how to do this. One of them uh, would like for you to take the slide off the pistol. Another one is to actually just keep the pistol slide on. You can do that. I think it's going to be a little easier if we take the slide off the pistol. So hopefully you already know how to do this. You do not need to use the bushing wrench to remove the, uh, the bushing recoil spring and all of that. That is not necessary. Let's lay this aside and we're going to put our first small thing into our little small thing collector. So what I like to do in order to, uh, to use this is to leave one ballpoint pen alone, unscrew the other and use its inkwell. I don't need the spring though. So let's drop that back in and screw that back down. So what I like to do is position this ballpoint pen on top of the little uh, Series 80 firing pin plunger. I use the other one to press the firing pin in while also pressing down on the plunger. And it is, it is a little tricky to get it just right. Probably going to end up speeding this up. If that's all right for everybody involved. There we go. All right. The firing pin should be recessed. If you can see that, I hope you can see that. And then you will need to remove your firing pin stop. Mine comes out usually pretty easily. There, firing pin stop. That is small part number two. Again, we will insert this ballpoint pin inkwell into our firing pin channel. Press the plunger and our firing pin will come right out. Except for the whole right out part. It won't come right out. Come on now. I had to talk with my pistol and everything and it promised it wasn't going to embarrass me. There's our firing pin. <sighs> Notice that it is almost identical to the Wilson Combat one, except for, I like the color. Color is going to be nice and different. I like that. Now there is a retention, or uh, a firing pin spring in there, and we're going to have to get that out too. Sometimes it takes a little fishing, but you can see it. Sometimes giving it a little shake and a couple taps will get it to come out. And other times you have to dig in with the ink well, just to see if you can nice and gently coax it out. I wonder if, hey, you could even use the firing pin. Press down on the plunger. See if releasing the plunger will. There it goes. That is small part number three and four, if you count the other firing pin. Here is where we really need the container. The small plunger has a spring in it, and we need to get that out. We also don't need to lose it because that spring is going to be horribly difficult to find. Usually, we can. Give it a few taps. That doesn't always work though. So sometimes you have to take the inkwell and see if you can encourage it to come out. Probably going to end up speeding this section up. Nobody ever said gunsmithing was easy. Hold up. There we go. And the little spring right there in the bottom. 
So we're going to leave that in its own little small part area. And then the extractor pulls straight out. Now I don't know if you can see this on the video, but there's supposed to be a tooth on the end of that. As you can see, there is no tooth. That is basically trash, unless you know of anybody who absolutely needs that material. Let's open up our new extractor, the Wilson Combat Bulletproof. Ah, moment of truth. See if this will drop right in without any fitting. Man, that is that is a lot tighter than the Taurus brand. And it's wow. That's anticlimactic. It's in. Great. Now we fit the plunger back in with its little spring. Uh, some suggest to remove the spring from the bottom of the plunger before attempting to put it back in. Whatever you find works for you will be just fine. Sometimes you have to wiggle the extractor around to get the plunger to fall all the way in, but once it is, it's in. Now for the firing pin. We're still assembling this in reverse order, so we just swap out the old firing pin for the new. We also need the spring. Thank you, editor, for not letting me do that. By the way, I'm thanking myself because I am the editor. So we drop that in. Then we push in the firing pin. Here comes the ballpoint pin segment again. In which I press it down on the plunger. Try to push the firing pin farther in. And this part is a, a tiny bit tricky. You have to play with alternating pushing and pulling and, well, it just doesn't want to go. Release it a little. Let's see how far I can press it in this time. Push that in. There we go. So now we have the we have the firing pin and it's locked in position. Replace the firing pin stop. Make sure you line it up just correctly. Also, if your extractor is not in, uh, this part will, will not go in. So your extractor has to be turned just the correct way. We have the firing pin stop back on. So now you're going to hear a little click when we press the plunger. And there's your firing pin. Can't really tell that it's a different color. All right, now we reassemble the pistol. Where is that little link? There it is. Ah, oh, come on now. Everything was going so smoothly. There we go. We have a nice little tooth on our extractor and there's a way to test it without firing. And that is uh, trying to cycle some ammunition. Make sure that you are in a safe area and that you are directing your firearm in a safe location, in a safe direction. So uh, what I'm going to do is grab my magazine loaded with good old hollow points. Rack one in. Cycle, 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 all the way through the magazine, locks back. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a working extractor in my PT-1911. I think I'm off tomorrow. Let's go shoot something.